Hi, Steve here again uh, with another catalyst. Um, I'm sorry, the, the picture quality probably isn't quite as good as usual because I'm using a different camera um, and system. Uh, and I'm in Belgium. Um, it's uh, been an incredibly interesting journey going through borders and being checked. And since we've been here, the the changes in um, even the, the sort of return rules to the UK. So that means we have to jump through a few more hoops to get home again in a few days time. But it's been an incredible blessing being here. Uh, one of the interesting things that's happened while we've been here is that um, our wonderful school that we, we meet in regularly and I'm a governor of has uh, been called in to uh, have a, an Ofsted inspection. Um, and so I'm hosting and, and joining rather uh, a number of different Zoom meetings over the next couple of days. Um, uh, as, as a governor of the school to be uh, connecting into what's happening um, back home. <laughs> it's quite quite bizarre being uh, sort of doing this remotely. Um, but it has brought something to mind and it's uh, how it's good to check things. It's good to, to be inspected, to have somebody that holds you accountable. I know that um, when we first arrived in uh, in Wellington, um, that that really wasn't something that was uh, in place, and we we spent some time praying, seeking God to to become accountable. And certainly, Larissa and myself are made ourselves very accountable to a couple of mature couples um, that we've known for a long time who really loved the Lord, and um, and so they've got kind of permission to be really personal and to to um, to, to ask us the difficult questions about life, marriage, money, whatever it is. Um, uh, and and it's also really important that we are, as a body, as a church, <coughs> um, over the first few years uh, of being as part of Life Central, we kind of just were seeking out and saying, Lord, w w which kind of connections, which group, which where, where do we find a place where we we f a fit in and have natural relationship, um, but also how do we um, uh, have place of integrity and honesty and openness where we can uh, we can trust the people that we share with and they can trust us um, and have a real heart to to serve the Lord in it. Um, and we ended up, um, as some of you uh, uh, probably. Um, caught the the capture the vision um back in uh th this this time um right at the end of november 2019 um we went to a conference over in bath with the live streams community and um we just felt we fit that this is this is we'd come home this is our tribe this is however you want to put it across that there was something really uh f from from Larissa and myself's perspective, it, it was like we, we we get these guys and they get us, and it's really important. Um, and so we began developing a relationship, and then um, through the lockdown, and I know that we communicated this in part, but um, maybe it's it's good to to say a bit more now um, that we we changed the constitution um, of the charity that is Life Central, um, uh, and we did that because there are a number of things that were just in place that were holding us back meant that we were limited in a number of uh, things in terms of how we operated uh, so financially it's a, it was a, a better uh, resolution it just tied things up, up better but also within it we made ourselves accountable to the wider live streams family so if ever there was any disagreement any problem any struggle um, we have it written into our DNA, if you like, that we won't just let it go. We will have people who are part of that a committed church family that will come in and support and encourage, direct and resolve. Um, we got one phrase, and I think it sort of goes something like this, uh, that we, we will have them involved until such time as a resolution is found. So it's not there's... Uh, any way of kind of getting away from it or escaping if we if there's a problem if there's disharmony they'll come and we'll make ourselves accountable to ha to have that help and that support which is so vital in life and we do it to one another we we have trusted friendships we have relationships we have our life groups which i think are so vital for loving caring accountability and that comes out of trust and, and relationship um 
and it's a really interesting dynamic when new people join and, and they kind of come into that but it's really healthy to grow but also really healthy to find a place where we can go to somebody and, and, and say this is what's happening in my life this is the way it really is part of the reason why I, I felt the need to, to say that today is I received a text message just today from somebody that had been giving counsel to I have to say not from directly within Life Central so you can't start thinking about who it is but somebody who'd been um, de dealing with uh, substance misuse um, uh, and uh, somebody that we've, we've we've known from the past and, and today they kind of said oh I'll, I've got to tell you this has happened in my life and there was a confession of something that happened um, and it was okay forgive you now forgive yourself let's move on um, and it's it, it's uh, it's really, really healthy to have people in our lives, um, whether they are in quotes mothers and fathers type people, or whether they're just the deep friendships that are, as a peer, where you can trust, you can confess, you can share, where you can together seek out forgiveness and a right standing with the Lord and work stuff out so that you get better, you grow stronger, you become healthy in what you're doing. So my encouragement to you today as life groups is be accountable. Learn to share the tough stuff with each other. And there may be may become a time when you need to go and go, do you know what? This has happened and I need to deal with some tough things. Well, we're here to listen, to share, to grow and to get better on the other side of it. Hope that makes sense. And you feel that that's uh, something that you can do as part of our community. Connect, share and grow. Bless you. Talk to you again soon.